Hello my beautiful people, so welcome to another weekly overview. So this is going to be about world events, it's going to be a, a little uh, amalgamation of a bit of everything. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope it helps you in some way, shape or form. Uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good, or should I say all of us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So, a couple of things to mention. Uh, Pluto is going to be stationary, which is going to put a lot of focus uh, on a lot of... Um, <sighs> you could very well see some hidden things come into light and it may very well come in the form of people saying some of the things that they've been holding back for a long time where people feel like they have been biting their tongue or holding back on something for a long time you will probably likely see them blow their lid this week uh, it may very well be as well that people just feel um <laughs> Uh, it irritated enough, so to speak, to say what they've really been feeling and really been holding back on. Uh, you could very well see the end of many things. Anything that seems like it's a firm structure this week could come tearing down. You know, we've already seen that. I'm recording this on Easter Sunday. And we've already had, uh, and I'll tell you a funny story about that as well. Last night, I had a dream um, about a, a building, about a white building um, with tunnels and everything underneath it. And I didn't really understand what it meant at the time. Um, I dreamt about it turning to ash and coming to, you know, coming to the ground. Uh, and when I woke up this morning, there was all this stuff about Sri Lanka that's just happened. So, you know, a lot of people dream world events. I mean, I'm one of those people that have, I've always dreamt the big world events for some reason. It's just, I don't know whether it's my, uh, my psyche is very connected to the earth. I mean, and that leads me into the next thing. Uranus represents the intuition and the super conscious mind. Uh, it is currently in Taurus. So you may very well find that you personally, whoever it is that's watching this, are very connected to world events, that you feel them more deeply, that you have a more innate sense of what might be happening behind the scenes or how things might be shaping up. You might be sensitive to the changes and the shifts in the earth itself. Uh, you may be having precognitive dreams about events that are happening on the wider world stage so these are all things that you really want to um, really want to take a, 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 a good view or a good look at because this is something that's going to be happening for the next seven years right we've got the Sun conjunct in Uranus this week uh, I think that happens tomorrow so like right out of the gate so we expect a lot of big shifts a lot of big surprises a lot of uh, you know, people just speaking up on things that they might have been holding on to for a very long time. There are going to be some really surprising events over the course of the next week. I absolutely believe that for all of us in some way, shape or form. But they don't have to be, and I say this is such a crap word, but they don't have to be negative. These could be really great things. These could, for some people, this can be rags to riches stories, you know, where they go from, you know, being penniless to, to you know, to abundant wealth. This could be uh, people get you know being stuck in a job that they absolutely hate and then being op offered their you know an opportunity of a lifetime for a job that they've you know wished could only have wished for it could be um you know anything from you find your dream home that you want to live in or uh, you know it could be anything finding out that you're pregnant and you've been told that you haven't you know the, the feeling that I get from this it will be whatever you've been experiencing in terms of lack it could go to the right opposite so you know that moment where you're like oh you know it's always going to be like this and then bam like this conjunction will just completely knock everything on its head and completely change the experience that we have so keep that in mind right it's it's not all doom and gloom it's not when we say surprise surprising and intense uh, being you know finding out that you're pregnant is surprising and intense finding out that you uh, being promoted is surprising and intense you know when we say surprising and, in and intense it doesn't always have to be like oh my gosh you know the world is ending or a building's coming down it doesn't always have to mean those things sometimes it can mean the complete opposite it just depends on our own unique situation you know and a million things besides so 
Uh, having said that, let's have a look at the destiny for the week ahead. Right, so we've got the Magician card. There's gonna be a lot of communication this week. There's gonna be a lot of dialogue. There's gonna be a lot of spiritual people speaking up this week. The Destiny card is about the overarching theme or energy for everybody. This is gonna be a fantastic week for manifesting things spontaneously as well. This is one of those weeks where all of us, you need to keep on top of your thought process. This is not the week to say things in jest. Now, um, as I was brought up and learnt about the craft, uh, one of the things that one of my mentors would say, uh, she always said to me, don't say, don't say cer certain things that you would never want to happen, do not say them in jest. Because sometimes just to speak a thing is enough to bring it into actuality. So, you know, if you, uh, and I touch wood when I say this, but I'll tell you a story that I observed when I was young, and this actually made sense. When, you know, when she said those words to me, it really made sense. We were, as a bunch of friends of mine, and actually one of my brothers, were all playing, and, uh, you know, one boy was doing tricks on his bike, and his cousin actually just said, like, oh, don't do that, you could break your neck. And literally within five minutes, he'd actually fallen and really really seriously injured himself and was told he'd never walk again. He is walking now and you know he's uh, he's managed to heal as far as he could but it was a horrific experience and when she said to me don't say things in jest that was always what I thought of. So this is a high week, a powerful week for manifestation. So be very clear on your intent of what you want, of what you focus on. Speak only those things that you do want and just be conscious of what it is that you say, whether it's in an argument, whether it's in, you know, like I said, don't say things in jest. Just be very conscious of the way that you communicate with yourself, with the world, with people you know, with the world at large. But there'll be a lot of dialogues open this week. I feel like a lot of, you know, off, obviously off the back of a lot of the stuff that's happened already, I feel like a lot of spiritual leaders are about to start stepping forward. And I actually feel like a lot of them are about to start speaking on things that, you know, some some people might find like, oh, and I'm not talking about just religious leaders, I'm talking about spiritual leaders. Um, and it looks like a lot of this stuff is opening up. Now this card is ruled by Mercury, so expect a lot of stuff to be going around online. Expect a lot of um, a lot of big conversations to be having, and some of it may not necessarily be easy. But I do feel like a lot of dialogue is opening up this week. The destiny for the world in general is to rewrite history in some way, shape, or form. I kind of feel like collectively we're saying, look, you know what, I don't really like the way that things are going and actually I feel like we, we could do ourselves and the world at large a much better um, service. So the direction, how is this gonna shape up? What is likely to take place around it? The Page of Cups, right? So this is gonna be one of those things where it's like out of the mouths of babes. I kind of feel like a lot of the people that are in charge are gonna be looking at the examples of younger people, right? They're gonna be looking to the college student who's just invented uh, a way to give people clean water. They're gonna be looking at all kinds of things that are gonna make the world better that come from a Uranian sort of energy, from the youth, from the young people. Because let's face it, you know, the young people nowadays, even though they don't necessarily know a lot of the struggles that have had to happen in order for them to have this sort of free and easy life that they're experiencing, um, they do have an innate sense of actually why are we in, why are we excluding people because of this this and this you know those are going to be those young people they're the ones that are going to break the boundaries they're the ones that are going to break the borders they're the ones that are going to say look you know what why are we segregating this this and this why not let's just make it all one and we'll go from there uh, the direction this week is going to be one of creative ability and creative nature there's going to be a lot of people talking about their feelings this week uh, there's going to be a lot of people really expressing their feelings talking a lot about how they feel uh, how they've been made to feel how certain things uh, interact with them or affect them a lot of people are going to be talking about this and i feel like in some way shape or form it's going to be the young people that rebel they're going to be the ones that come forward and say look you know what you guys need to sort this shit out and you know as a, an uncle and a friend of people who have children, um, I have to say, yeah, we, we, we do. We, we need to be doing better. Um, 
you know, just my, my thoughts. So the insight, right? What, what else is there for the tarot to, to offer and to share with us? Let's have a look, see. The insight, the wisdom is the moon, right? So this is about us looking to the past. This is about us really observing how it is that we got to the experiences that we're having. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be concentrating on this stuff this week. And it's kind of like people are gonna to try to draw parallels to, well, you know, when this happened, it led to this, this, and this. And it's like, well, we're not in that place anymore. This is, you know, I'm not saying that any of the, the atrocities that have happened in history should be forgotten. But if we're constantly focusing on those rather than saying, what can we put in place to start building peace? What can we put in place to start building stronger connections between uh, different factions of the world, of, you know, of the, the wider world stage? The moon card in, as in terms of its insight is offering a, a different perspective. It's about us taking the rose tinted glasses and saying, look, you know what? There are aspects of our society that are broken and we need to find a collective way in order to fix this. So the wider world stage this week is gonna be very, very busy it's going to be very active there's going to be a lot of dialogue going back and forth everybody in some way shape or form is going to be in their feelings it's just going to be a week of that stuff um, and for all of us in some way shape or form the way that I feel this is it's almost like we're coming to that point now where we're about to make another big decision for our lives all of us in some way shape or form will be making a big decision this week of how do i continue how do i not continue or how you know not not continue but <clears throat> where is it that i go from here I need to understand my past. I need to really comb through that to know where it is that I'm going. And I need to be able to communicate and speak all of my intentions of what it is that I do want to create in this life in the most clear and concise manner in order for me to get to where it is that I would like to be. All of us in some way, shape or form are gonna feel everything that's taking place this week. So be kind, be courteous, be open to dialogue, right? allow people to feel how they feel and know that this week it may very well have nothing to do with you it might just be how they feel and one of the things that we really need to get into the habit of doing is if somebody vents 99% of the time they're not venting at us it's not a personal attack this is the problem with the Instagram Facebook and da -da -da -da, you know everything's taken personally it's like wow you can't say that about me and it's like I'm not saying that about you I'm just voicing an opinion we all have the right to do that this week people are going to be voicing their feelings right and it's really important that we don't shoot each other down in doing so and the reason I say that is because it's rare it's a rare moment in life in in the fucking history of the world that people talk honestly and openly about how they feel so when that happens we need to be ready and able to support people in those feelings and not shoot them down and say well you're wrong you're this you're that da -da 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 -da. because then we just clam up again and we all go back off to our separate corners and it goes back to everybody bottling their crap up until it explodes again in some way shape or form so be ready willing and open for dialogue this week um, and keep an eye on the wider world stage i think we're going to see a lot of this take care and i'll see you very soon for more videos